Right now in the real estate industry, there's a lot of debate regarding um, the different kinds of service models that are being offered to, to the market. There's the traditional model whereby the seller pays a commission to an agent. And then there's also the so-called hybrid model or online model whereby the service is predominantly online and enabled through technology um, with varying degrees of human intervention and human service. And uh, there's a lot of debate around which is better. Naturally, the one is far cheaper than the other, much lower cost, fixed fee, whereas the other is based on the uh, on a commission rate which pertains the value or the cost pertains to the, the value of the home. It's my opinion that these can very, very easily coexist. And, and why do I say that? I think ostensibly there are different needs in the market. Um, the, the myth that selling and buying a home is a linear uh, transaction or a functional transaction is just absolutely not true. Um, certainly selling a home can well be a complex endeavor and varying degrees of wisdom and professionalism and insight and consultation are required depending upon the particular transaction. Um, generally speaking, and it is a generalization, that lower priced properties, if you will, and there's somewhat of a, of a, a, a benchmark or a delineation of two million rand and below, um, but, but lower priced properties are less prone to complexities um, and require, supposedly require less consultation, less wisdom, um, uh, etc, etc. Whereas as you travel up in the price spectrum, these deals can, can very often be faced with complexities, whether they be legal, whether they be um, uh, negotiation between the parties. Naturally, when you're negotiating on a 10, 15, 20, 50 million rand home, the, the, that, that negotiation is different to a one or two million rand home, just by, just by definition. So th that's a very simplistic view. But I think depending upon the markets, um, the, the market cycle, the economy, and those, those dimensions that influence the transaction and the ability to close on a deal or bring buyers and sellers together, um, the more complex those are or the more challenging those are. So you need a professional to stand as a guide, stand in the middle, stand as a mediator, stand as a negotiator and uh, reach a win-win agreement between the two parties. Often properties are held in trusts, they are owned by companies, there are governance issues, there are legal issues and these things can become particularly challenging. And suffice to say that uh, higher price buyers are more often than not um, uh, far more um, au fait with the, the with property dealings and, and therefore are looking for far more um, in-depth advice from their property consultant, from their property professional. So I think to summarize then, the, the, the two extremes, if you will, can very well coexist, but clients need to understand that you get what you pay for. So the concept of risk is always unknown in a property transaction, and therefore it's about your appetite for risk. Not to say that trading on an online platform or working with a fixed fee service is a risky proposition, but it's about should risk occur you are probably going to battle with those complexities more so than if you have a property professional by your side throughout the journey.